there's a mythology about this city. So I think that we've always wanted to come, but this is actually our first time. So it's really exciting to be here. It's such an um, interesting place. I think especially for Laura and I, because we tend to be fascinated by things that um, I think a lot of ideas and kind of uh, moments in history that converge in one place. You know what's so funny? <laughs> Someone was saying, what city does Hong Kong remind you of? And it really reminds me of San Francisco mm -hmm. in a strange mm -hmm. way. There's, I think it's the combination of the, 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 the ocean front and the hills. And then there are all these really beautiful pastel color buildings and the whites that you'd see in San Francisco. I mean, so. it's more like tropical here. Yeah. And San Francisco is very icy in a different, it's a, a different, different way, city. But, but I don't feel culture I shock. Either. I think sometimes when you travel, culture I shock I mean, happens. I think the in places you're barrier. more familiar with. <laughs> I think a lot of food since we've come. Yeah, we've I tried we've too much food. <laughs> too many restaurants already. Okay, I had shark fin. So I think, I mean, to me, that's, I don't know how eccentric that is. I feel like it's I'm probably not. I'm not an not. eccentric eater, That so. was eccentric for me. <laughs> and I don't know what else I had that was as eccentric as that. That to me was the most because I actually really love sharks. So I was kind of like, I don't know about this, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> It was good. I mean, I didn't really know. I didn't. It, I don't. I still don't know what the distinctive shark flavor is, though, because it was mixed with other stuff. Well, we're different because we're, um, uh, if you had both of us tell a story, one of us would. I would tell the story. I would get halfway, and she would turn it into a huge, exaggerated, comedic tale. And then my story would end really fast and be terrible. I think it's hard to say what the differences are. <laughs> People that probably know us would know all the differences. Gosh, I don't think we're reclusive. We're not we're really reclusive. reclusive. That's how you would describe J.D. Salinger. Yeah, if that means we're J.D. Salinger level, we're yeah. okay with it. Well, I saw some pretty cool fashion when we were at the... What temple did we go to today? Manmo. Manmo Temple. We saw one cool lady that had like a really neat like little um, fur collared blazer. I love the combination of fur and stripes and flowers here. And I saw one pair of like blue floral plant pants. pants. Really yeah, liked. I love those. So we've been seeing things. We see things all the time though. Laura Jacqueline Malady. That's my name. That's cheating. That's not cheating. <laughs> Kate is... Uh, Three words. That's not enough. Okay, Kate is um, an intellectual. She's sharp and she's witty. Uh, Laura is. Um, this is so hard. God, I guess I would I say. Fast. I know. I, I would say. Well, I would say the same things about her. I think Laura's really. Um, well, I wouldn't say she's so witty though. <laughs> oh. I think just dressing like to me it's like the always best always make sure you have a really good gray sweatshirt and t-shirt I feel like you just need like for me it's like those little cat like all I can think about right now is those little cat eyeglasses from like the sick early 60s I feel like if you're a guy or a girl and you put those on with anything it makes you look cool 